there's still, I think, a couple of those tanks sitting out there. It's just that the manways work now. Right. <laughs> when we moved over here, what did we have? We had frickin' nothing. So we're looking for the cheapest shit we can find. And, you know, we start ordering these tanks out of uh, China because the stainless is cheaper or whatever it is. They show up, we fill them up with beer, and the things just start leaking out the manway um, right away. Uh, beer's just flowing out the manway because of the pressure on it, and obviously there wasn't a good seal. We start uh, just jimmying these things. We go into the deli and we take spoons and forks and knives and we start pounding uh, and wedge using them as wedges in the manways so that when we fill them up with beer, the pressure of the beer on that manway, um, you know, with the wedges into it, would not allow the beer to seep through. Uh, and it worked, but it looked like absolute shit because people would come into the brewery and here's all these tanks with like all these utensils just wedged into the manway. So we obviously didn't order uh, any of those tanks as life went on, but uh, it helped us get from point A to point B. Um, you know, since then, obviously, we've realized that you know, it doesn't work to cut corners. Um, to make quality beer, you need quality equipment. But there's a reality to fighting the battle, and, and sometimes you do whatever you have to do to get there.